Hello everyone, let me introduce Tweet Attacks Pro, developed by WhiteHatBox.com. It has powerful functions, helping you to automatically follow, unflow, tweet and so on. Also you can use Tweet Attacks Pro to manage thousands of Twitter accounts. Now, I will introduce the newest and powerful version Tweet Attacks Pro 4. For convenience, we will call it TAP4 in the following operation. TAP3 has been upgraded to TAP4, so TAP4 contains all the functions of TAP3. Not only have we updated and upgraded some functions, but also we have added some new functions from users' feedback. The most important key is that much more functions from TAP4 can be used in Twitter's API. On the main UI interface of this program, here is Accounts Manager, Tasks Manager, Message Manager, Tools, Settings, Help, and Form. In the Accounts Manager, you can click Add Account to add your Twitter accounts to TAP. Or click Import Accounts to import your Twitter accounts to TAP. Besides you can click Add Account Category to create a new group to manage your accounts. Select the account group that you added just now. Click Check Account, you can get the full name, following, followers, tweets etc. There are two important functions in this block, one is Bind Proxy, and the other is Bind User Agent. Click Bind Proxy, you can bind your account to the proxy. Click Bind User Agent to bind your account to User Agent. The former two steps can guarantee the security of your accounts, and reduce network error. In Task Manager, you can click Create Task to create a task to let your accounts to finish all operation automatically. Compared with TAP3, TAP4 has great improvement in task settings and running. We have added new function task modules in TAP4. Click Task Settings here as the new function task modules. Now, we will open TAP3 Task Settings interface to have a comparison. Click Follow. Here are three plates, Search Settings, Filter Settings, and the settings of Follow Amount. But, in TAP4, Search Settings and Filter Settings are separated into Search Module and Filter Module. The rest settings is Follow Module. Select Filter Node, and click Select Data Source button, then set the function you need. After Set, click Save button. So, every function has his own module, they can get and handle the output data from other modules. It makes us easier to create various tasks but it cannot handle the task data from TAP3. In Message Manager we can add or edit contents for messages, tweets, and comments which are used often by us. Select My Message node, click Message 1 as you see. Besides, we also can click Add Message category to create a message group to manage them, and use them in the task. In Tools, there are two Scrape tools. Click Settings button. We can set search options and filter options to scrape the Twitter information and account information that you want. After finish scraping, we can export and save these information in a local file. In Settings, Help, when we are using TAP, the information you need to set includes, Spinner Chief Settings, Thread Amount Settings, user agent settings and proxy settings in data manager managing our running data is much easier the function of backup and recovery can reduce the losses for us when the data are corruption
in form, a browser built in our program can be redirected to our form. You can exchange the experience with other TAP users and give the feedback problems. Programmer and customer service from TAP will help you solve the problem in time. After finish the introduction, you must have a rough idea about TAP. Next, we will show you how to set the settings and details. Please look forward to. That is all. Thanks for watching.